Can stubborn plantar warts be cured? Stop. Wait. This video is for you if you are currently suffering with stubborn plantar warts or you're so frustrated with your current treatment that are not making your warts going away or you just want to understand why plantar warts are so difficult to treat it or you want to know that can plantar warts be cured? A little bit about me, I'm Dr. Devinder Bella, podiatrist from Restore Podiatry and Laser Center in Long Island, New York. First, we need to understand what is plantar wart and how do you know if you have it? Plantar warts, also known as furucas, it started with a small cut on your foot or a foot with a really dry, cracked skin with a little opening, you walk barefoot somewhere in dirty places and you pick up a virus called HPV, which stands for human papilloma virus, which causes plantar wart. This is the diagram, a picture of a healthy skin on your left right here that's what a healthy skin look like here this is the picture of what the plantar wart look like here you can see the wart right here and you can see how deep it is within the skin plantar wart skin this is the diagram where you can see this is where the virus get inside the cut right here here are the virus and that's where it got inside the skin if you follow the black line and it managed to get all the way down to the basal layers then it will get inside our healthy cells and control the cell which becomes red colors which now become the infected cells and it eventually causes the plantar wart on the top right here if you want to know the full detail or explanation on every single step and interact with our our healthy cells and cause of plantar wart i have included the link below in the description box the problem with hpv the hpv virus had a special skill which if they can hide from your immune system like in the movie harry potter hpv puts on invisible cloak and control these red infected cells and pretend to be healthy cell. Because of this, your body does not know the virus exists inside your healthy cells and the presence of the plantar wart. This is what it looked like in the very early stages of plantar wart. It's just a halo and a circular lesion. However, for others, majority of plantar warts look like this. Here, you can see this is a healthy skin where you can see really nice, beautiful line. Right over here, this is the plantar wart. You can see the skin lines has been interrupted. And the second thing is the appearance. The surface of the plantar wart look like, um, you know, like a grainy, rough appearance or a little bit of a cauliflower appearance the third thing it have a multiple black dot right here the other little black dot right there these are another sign of plantar warts where you have a clotted blood vessel that feeds the wart another sign of plantar wart is it can look like a corn or callus and when you uh, scrape the surface of the plantar wart and it start to bleed a little bit that's another sign of plantar wart important to understand there is no one specific treatment that works the same for everyone no two patients are the same no two warts are the same no two immune system are the same but i wanted you to know that plantar warts can be cured and will not come back for many years after the HPV and wart is clear. So how do we do this? Take a look at this same diagram I showed you before. 
we know that our healthy basal cells are controlled by the virus and uh, they disguise themselves as a part of our body that our immune system treat them at the normal cells. All these right here, all the red colors, that's all everything controlled by the virus. If we can get these red infected cells exposed as a foreign and make them detectable and trigger our immune response to fight the HPV and clear the war out. We need our immune system to be trained well to recognize the highly capable HPV. What you know about our immune system? Our immune system is made up of two types. The innate immune system, first line of defense and will fight against the general infection. The adaptive immune system will learn to fight against specific inf infection by making a specific antibody so you can have lifetime immunity. HPV has the ability to bypass both innate and adaptive immune system, which allow the virus to be undetectable for a long period of time. You need to understand that the longer HPV stays in our skin, the more HPV will learn how our immune system works, so it can stay undetectable for a long time. I wish we can communicate our immune system directly like this, you know, to talk to your own body and say, hey, listen, immune system is down there. HPV is hiding inside my foot. Can you go kill them and clear the word out? Unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. There's no way we can communicate our immune system like this. Uh, there are a couple numerous studies that have been published on the the study about like whether their ability of the HPV human papilloma virus had the ability to evade immune system to hide from your immune system. So I found uh, two articles that I thought you might want to take a look up and read more about if you're interested in learning about how HPV had the ability to hide from immune system. What are the current treatment options available for plantar warts? What is the best treatment? Now we know the best treatment option should have all of these options. It should have minimal or no recurrence, should expose HPV infected cells to become detectable so it can trigger your immune system to recognize these HPV infection sure helps our immune system to build immunity for many years against the HPV and leave no scar. So one option you can do is wait and see. HPV can be smart with the ability to stay invisible for months, years, until that day your immune system finally recognizes HPV and clear the wart and the virus. Another option you can do is salicyclic acid. Salicyclic acid is more commonly used over-the-counter remedy. It's classified as a catalytic agent. Basically, this means it has the ability to soften and loosen the top layer of the wart, making it easier to remove the top layers. You have to apply it every day so you remove layer by layer until you finally reach the bottom layers of the wart. Hoping the salicylic acid irritate the infected tissue to encourage the immune system to take an action. This might take anywhere from several weeks to months. Understand this. If the word were finally gone, then it was not salicylic acid. It was your immune system that finally cleared them. If the plantar word is still there, then this means HPV is much smarter to stay alive I personally see people apply salicylic acid, the wart is gone for a few months or years, then it came back again. What is the success rate with salicylic acid? Cyotherapy versus salicylic acid for the treatment of the plantar wart and randomized controlled trial. This study has been published in June 2011 and it did the experiment on two different groups, one with salicylic acid and the other group was cytotherapy. 
So I highlighted yellow color salicylic acid. And that groups 119 patients were asked to apply uh, salicylic acid 50% on their plantar wort every day for eight weeks. And at 12 weeks, they were asked to come back and we saw only 17 patients out of 119 patients had success with plantar wort, complete clearance, which is about 14%. Then they were asked to come back at six months. And uh, at six months, only, um, and somewhere in between, not everyone came back, only 95 patients came back. And out of 95 patients, only 29 patients had complete clearance with plantar wort, which is about 31%. Cyotherapy. Cyotherapy uses liquid nitrogen to create the extremely cold temperature to destroy plantar wort and uh, hoping to create local inflammation and alert immune system. Back to the same study. In the blue colors, I highlighted cyotherapy and that groups 110 patients had a cyotherapy performed by doctors and most of them had about three to four sessions of cytotherapy. And at 12 weeks, only 15 patients out of 110 patients had a complete clearing with the plantar wort, which is about 14%. And at six months, only 98 patients came back for follow-up. And out of 98 patients, only 33 patients had a complete clearance with the plantar wort, which is about 34% success rate. Another option is laser NAG YAG 1064 nanometers. Laser treatment is basically based on the purpose of photodermal or photomechanical destruction of the target tissue inside the plantar wort. The target structure absorbs a certain light of specific wavelength influence light energy get converted to thermal energy therefore destroy the target structure this can lead to coagulation effect or blasting effect this laser procedure may require numbing either with topical cream or local anesthesia potential side effects transient numbness about 15 percent of the time hemorrhagic bullet about seven percent Hyperpigmentation 5%, hypopigmentation 4%, and maybe a minor scar. The recurring rate was about 3.3% after the laser treatment. And this is the study I found that was published on this, which you can read more about. Same article, published in 2009, Long Post Nat Yet Laser Treatment of Warts, report on the series of 369 cases right here. Unfortunately, one year later, only 348 patients came back for the follow-ups. And they noted about 90%, 96% success rate. So we wanted to find out what kind of worse was this. So they noted that about out of um, 348, 72% had a success rate with the common wort or Fuca vulgaris, and then um, the plantar wort, the deep pommel plantar worts, was about 44%. And they noted about 11 patients had a recurrence of plantar worts after the treatment. There are other treatment options that can be used for plantar worts, and there's so many of them, and uh, I wanted to bring them up here. And I mentioned right here, these options are not FDA approved for plantar warts. Cantharidin, some doctors refer to this as a beetle juice injection, which is FDA approved for molluscum contagiosum. Another one, Canada Albigan extract injection, which is FDA approved for skin test antigen. Bleomycin injection, another uh, treatment that can be used for plantar wort, but this is FDA approved for surgeon cancer. 
as I mentioned, squamous cell cancer, Hodgkin lymphoma, testicular carcinoma. Another option is Aldoa imiquimab cream 5%. This is FDA approved for ethnic keratosis and external genital warts. Another option is Gardasil 9 HPV vaccine. This is FDA approved for certain cancer and surgery warts and it has to be a work that caused by any one of the nine type of HPV. Type 6, 11, 16, 18, 31, 33, 45, 52, and 58. Unfortunately, black uh HPV is different and it's not in one of these listed here. So therefore, the HPV vaccine is not FDA approved for plant wort. And this in the article I uh, mentioned below right here, which is basically you can look up more if you want to read more information about any of these uh, treatment options. Plant wort surgery is another option. Um, a lot of doctors perform surgery when they are having trouble treating the plant wort after a certain amount of times. So plantar wart surgery, the most common surgery they perform is the cure touch followed by cautery. The success rate anywhere from 65% to 85%. The potential complication is scarring and pain. So once you have surgery, you can have a scar that can be there for a few weeks. It could be there for, for a couple of months, maybe years, and imagine your surgery is on the bottom of your feet, so you have scar and walking on the scar that can cause a pain uh, and make it difficult to walk on it. The problem with the plantar wart surgery is that recurring rate can be as high as 30%. There is no guarantee that plantar wart would not come back. And this is an article I have uh, referenced below, which you can read more about it, about the plantar wart surgery. In fact, this is the only article I was able to find about the study on plantar wart surgery. Another option is SWIP microwave therapy. SWIP microwave therapy, how does it work against the HPV? The unit delivers microwave radiation into the skin which leads to rapid elevation of the treated area into the hyperthermic or heat shock range of 41 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius which is a few degrees above the body temperature. A skin cells placed under stress from microwave heating of a few seconds produces a molecule known as the heat shock protein. Moreover, HSP70 has been shown to induce the maturation of Langerhans cells and enhance their migration to lymph nodes. When comparing normal skin to HPV-infected skin, it was found that migratory response was more obvious in the HPV-infected skin. HSP release has also been shown to simulate cytokine release from antigen presented cell as well as nitric oxide, chemotactic factors from macrophage, and to simulate anti-tumor activity by the immune system. Microwave treatment appears to have a more direct effect on HPV infected keratinocyte by disruption, viral protein expression, and cell apoptosis. Okay. Now, I, I know that you guys didn't understand what I just said, most of it, and medically. Uh, in a simple language, I want to explain. Short microwave therapy make HPV more detectable, expose the HPV, and trigger your immune system to find the HPV, kill them, fight them, and clear the plant wart. And I have put a reference on the bottom, which you can uh, look up more about it so you can understand how to microwave actually work against the HPV. The benefits of SWIP microwave therapy is treat underlying root of wart, which is to simulate your immune system to eradicate HPV. No broken skin, no bandage, no, no dressing. All activities can resume as normal and the patient can even go swimming minor discomfort, no side effects, no anesthesia, no numbing needed. Swift can enhance, increase your body chances of building immunity against the HPV. What's the difference between night laser and swift microwave? 
Not yet, laser can create smoke plume, or can spread viral particles, can cause skin breakage, possible wounds for a few days, the site may be sore for a few days. Swept microwave, it basically no bloom, no skin breakage. You can do activity right away, right after the treatment. No pain after the treatment. Microwave is much more effective at XPV compared to any other treatment option. Microwave treated keratinocytes was able to induce dendritic cell activation. This is another um, immune response. And overall, SWIFT enhanced anti-HPV response by CD8 plus T cells, which is also um, immune system response. And I have listed the reference below, which you can read more about the uh, SWIFT microwave therapy. What is the success rate with SWIFT microwave therapy? SWIFT microwave therapy has been, uh, is a new technology, it's been around in the U.S. for a couple of years now, as um, the recent article that has been published on the microwave therapy was in June 2023, microwave therapy for the treatment of plantar wars. They did the study on 150 plantar wars treated with microwave therapy, and uh, 125 patients, about 83% of wars completely resolves, which is a pretty amazing number. And there is a reference which I've listed below. So you can read more about SWIFT microwave therapy success. So to answer your question, as I mentioned before, what is the best treatment? SWIFT microwave therapy actually meet all of the criteria. It had minimal or no recurring rate, which is about less than 1% according to the most study and among many doctors across the nation. In my experience, personally for me, uh, I would say the number would be zero. I have not seen any plantar work come back after the SWIFT therapy once they are gone. Um, SWIFT microwave should expose HPV infected cells to become detectable so it can trigger your immune system to recognize these HPV infection. It helps our immune system to build immunity for many years, leave no scars, Initially, when I started out with SWIFT microwave therapy, my success rate was about 80%. However, over the time, I got to have more understanding how the SWIFT actually work. I was able to develop better protocol and patient selection. Overall, my success rate has increased to 95%. I would say for those patients who have um, immune compromised condition, like um, the diabetes or um, systemic lupus erythematosus or some immune condition that have a weak immune system, they will actually need a more treatment session in order to um, provoke immune system. This is uh, one of the cases of my patient that I have treated with swift microwave therapy. As you can see, this is what it looked like before, right here, and this is what it looked like after the microwave therapy. It's completely clear, it's gone. There are many more uh, pictures of successful before and after pictures of many cases treated with SWIFT microwave therapy. And several video testimonials of my patient's success stories who wanted to share their experience of their stolen plantar wort. So please visit my Instagram page by scanning the QR code on the right or you can visit my website with a link in the description box below. Take home summary. You need to understand that the longer HPV stay in your skin, the more HPV will learn how our immune system works. So it can stay undetectable for a long time and the more challenging it will be to treat stubborn plantar wart. I hope this presentation have helped you to understand why stubborn plantar warts are not going away with traditional treatment, that plantar work can actually be cured, and the fastest way to give it up the plantar work is to have your immune system to recognize the HPV and the presence of the plantar work. Thank you for watching the videos.